Hello everybody, welcome to this channel. Today I'm going to share with you my favorite road recipe and that is the Filipino pork adobo. This is cooked in many different versions depending on the location, resources, and preferences. But however way it is cooked, it is always, always good. Um, today I'm going to show you my own version, okay? It is very simple, even a kid could do it. Five basic ingredients, pork, vinegar, soy sauce, garlic, and pepper. We need two pounds of pork, about a kilo. I prefer the belly part. I like my adobo dry, so I prefer my meat with a bit of fat in it. If I say dry, I meant adobo without sauce, but you can use any part of pork you like, and I like to cut them in two to three bite sizes. We also need two teaspoons of garlic and one to two teaspoons of crushed pepper. Honestly, I also just eyeball the measurements, but for this purpose, I would approximately say two teaspoons of each, so you can add more or less depending on your taste. I like mine garlicky and a bit peppery. Also, you can add fresh garlic if you want. You may not use the crushed pepper if you prefer the whole ones. And you can also add a couple bay leaf if you want. But for this version, we are in a hotel room. So let's just use powdered garlic and crushed pepper, okay? Next is one fourth cup of vinegar and one cup of soy sauce. You can use any kind of vinegar. There's apple cider, balsamic, rice, or cane vinegar, what have you. Now for the soy sauce, I highly, highly recommend using a Filipino soy sauce. I tried using non-Filipino brand and the outcome is just not the authentic Filipino adobo taste. So it should be a Philippine brand. I cannot stress this enough. Very, very important. Common soy sauce brands are Silver Swan soy sauce and Datu Puti soy sauce. And they can be found in most Asian stores. This is what I have. They can be found sometimes in the international section of some grocery stores. So there are only five ingredients and we are now ready to start cooking the best ever Filipino pork adobo cooked in a hotel room. So first we mix all the ingredients, all the five ingredients. And after mixing, you can set them aside in the fridge to marinate for about 30 minutes or even overnight if you like. If you ask me, sometimes I leave them to marinate, but most of the time I cook it right after mixing. Um, there's not really a big difference. It is still good with or without marination. Okay, so lid on, uh, medium heat, let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes or longer until the sauce is reduced to your preference. Uh, you can mix it occasionally. Again, I prefer mine dry, so I cook it until the meat is frying in its own fat. I am using here an electric pot and I use it a lot when I'm not home and I love it. The only thing is I cannot fry on this one, so I cannot really make dry adobo. So I just reduce the sauce to the minimum liquid requirement of this pot. But when I'm home using a regular pot, regular stove, I really cook my meat until it's frying in its own fat. I work in healthcare, I travel for work. I usually stay in one area for about one to three months or more. Um, so I usually stay in hotels for the duration of my assignment. I cook a lot of recipes using this pot. Um, yeah. Looks like our adobo is ready. Um, this is the driest it can go using this uh, pot. But if you are home and you wanted to try dry adobo, simmer it uncovered after about 15 minutes of cooking. Um, that speeds up the reduction process of the sauce. Now you can heat up your leftover rice on the pot and let it absorb all the yummy goodness left in there. And that makes another phenomenal dish called adobo rice. 
Okay, so it's time for you to make your own Filipino pork adobo and let me know how you did in the comments below. Um, if you want to hear more about my hotel room recipes, aka road recipes, let me know in the comments below, okay? For now, goodbye.